Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The UK is suffering from one of the widest regional wealth divides in Europe, according to the Bank of England, and the gap's only getting bigger. The bank's chief economist, Andy Haldane, has told the BBC that regional equality is one of the biggest issues facing the country. The highest household worth lies in the southeast at £340,000. That's almost two and a half times more than the lowest, the northeast, at £150,000. The bank says the figures are worsening, partly due to lack of investment and skills. Our economics editor, Kamal Ahmed, reports from Redcar. The old steelworks in Redcar closed last year, 2,000 jobs lost. Although there are winds of optimism here, many of those 2,000 people have found new work. Teesside is a region less wealthy than its southern neighbours, London and the South East. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello Rebecca. Nice to see you. I'm Andy. Hi, I'm Andy. Hi. Nice to see you. Well, Andrew. Andrew Haldane, the Bank of England's chief economist, here to take the temperature. A tattoo parlour, a clothing shop, a dry cleaners. Small businesses that are the backbone of any town. At a visit to a steel research lab, he told me those regional inequalities were getting worse. There are some big gaps north to south. There are some big gaps uh, east to west uh, as well. If anything, these gaps, which are of long standing, have nudged a little wider over the course of the UK's recovery. The local view is mixed. There's confidence from shop owners. Everybody seems to be smiling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't really see anybody like doom and gloom and I think things have moved on. And the feeling that London just gets a little more help. Every time something negative happens, you know, you expect the government to jump in and try and help out. We're not really getting any kind of real help coming in from the central government, if you want. Theresa May has spoken about just managing families. She could just as easily have spoken about just managing regions like here in Redcar. There are lots of positive developments in areas like this. For example, the unemployment rate is falling faster than the national average. But when compared to the powerhouse economic regions of London and the South East, Places like Redcar are falling further and further behind. You've heard the criticism. Your policies of money printing have been to help the banks and, frankly, to help the city, to help London, to help the South East. It hasn't done much to help places like here in Redcar, has it? Quantitative easing and, and lower interest rates, the, the two tools we have at our disposal, uh, have helped lift the fortunes of all of the regions across the UK, including here in the North East. Without monetary policy easing, I think economic activity here may have been 7 8% lower than it currently is. That, that is not to be sniffed at. No one wants to see the sun set over places like Redcar, and Mr Haldane urged investment in skills and business performance to increase wealth across the whole of the UK. That is the challenge for the government. Tough, long-term policies that take many years to deliver. Kamal Ahmed, BBC News, Teesside. I've been getting away with it all.